Hello, my name is Carl. Today we're going to take you through the workflow for pharmacist verification of a discharge prescription. Discharges in a planned or partially reconciled state must be completed by the prescriber before a pharmacist processes the discharge. Confirm the green tick is present next to meds history, admission and discharge before processing the discharge. First, let's start with collecting our discharge prescription. Next, print off the medication reconciliation report. This can be used as a template for our discharge prescription reconciliation. With the medication list open, you can do this by clicking on the options menu, then print medication reconciliation report, and finally selecting print. At this point, select your nearest printer and click OK. The Medication Reconciliation Discharge Report should be used as the template for our Discharge Prescription Reconciliation. Remember that this Medication Reconciliation Discharge Report is not suitable to be given to patients. Compare the Medication Reconciliation Report to the Pharmacist Admission History Progress Note. This is done to ensure that all medicines that the patient was taking prior to admission are reflected in some way in the Medication Reconciliation Report. You may choose to use the tear-off function here. Now, the pharmacist should compare the Medication Reconciliation Discharge Report to the MAR. To do this, open the MAR. And ensure that the MAR is set to display all medications. The pharmacist can now commence their comparison. The Discharge Reconciliation widget and the medication history snapshot may not provide a full picture and should not be used at this time. The next step is to discuss any concerns with the prescriber or treating team as normal. Now we have finished reviewing the changes, let's make it clear to a dispensary technician that we have verified the prescription and discharge medication reconciliation report and would like an ELMS. With our discharge prescription now verified, we can follow our usual discharge medication processes from here. For some patients, you may need to complete a pharmacist discharge progress note. These patients may include patients with a Webster pack, patients going to an aged care facility, or patients taking special access scheme medicines.